<laughs> Welcome to episode 21 of Geek Gumbo. I am your host, Patrick. Tonight I am joined by Nick. Hello. And Josh. It's all an inside job. Yes. That's what they all say. <laughs> uh, Jeff is on vacation. Forever. Eh, not forever. <laughs> forever. I mean, forever? <laughs> forever? You're not even listening, are you? <laughs> I'm like two feet taller than you, but whatever. <laughs> Literally us talking to our boss every day. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> All right, so tonight we come in, um, I'd say, about 103% unprepared. Yeah, no. Because of lack of trying. Technically, we're prepared to be unprepared. It's working. Right. So by technicality, we're unprepared to be prepared, but we're unprepared. Right. So today there's there's just one big pot. No flavors going in it. <clears throat> uh, we don't even know what's going in the pot. We're just going to... Let this thing record and see what happens. The, the one, the one time we don't have a structure set up, and Jeff decides, "Oh, I'm gonna step away for a while," you know. <laughs> it's like this is we, your moment to shine. Would we call this a potluck podcast then? Can we call it a potluck? I don't I think know. I've never been to a potluck. Everything we, we do is potluck. Put in whatever you want. Mm. That's what we mm. usually do every week, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, but we have structure every week. Potlucks have no structure. Fair enough. Booyah. So I find I find it very ironic that the one week that we don't have like a structure, first off, Jeff is not here. Secondly, uh, there's been a good bit of gaming news and stuff going on. Uh, <coughs> like a, uh, the Twitch streamer who died during a 24-hour charity stream, no less. God damn it, kids. I hope it was worth it. Maybe the money he raised will go to a funeral. Ouch. Oh, it's... Yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck me, right? Uh, the poor bastard, around hour 22, went to go get a cigarette, and then... What's really weird is his fans started <clears throat> getting concerned when he did not come back eight hours later. Oh, yeah, it only took him eight hours. Wait, so he went to go get a cigarette and just never went back on screen? Yeah. He, so he like, dad. He's like, you know, I'm going to go get a cigarette and take a bathroom break and I'll be back in a few minutes. And eight hours later, people are like, uh, should we be concerned? He hasn't come back in like eight hours. I think something's wrong. <laughs> dad? Um, no, what eventually happened was um, one of his moderators was contacted through Curse uh, by the streamer's account. Um they verified the identification. It was a, it was a detective. Apparently, he had uh, he had just dropped dead, heart failure. Probably from sitting there playing whatever for twenty two well, hours. They said that the heart failure was caused due to sleep deprivation. That'll do. Oh, wow. It. Every time. I mean, they didn't say necessarily <clears throat> if you know streaming for twenty four hours is what did him in. Right. But. Yeah, normally sleep deprivation takes a little bit longer than twenty two hours. Right. Well, I mean, I don't. I didn't. I didn't even know who this guy was. Apparently, he was a big Twitch streamer, but, um, you know, maybe he just did. You know, maybe he was one of those streamers that like would stream for like eight to ten hours a day, yeah. and then like sleep for an hour and a half, and then go back to streaming for another ten fifteen hours. Well, who's fault was that? <laughs> Well, I mean, it's his fault, but, you know. It I, makes makes me want to take a nap. Right? I just want to stream <laughs> for 22 hours. It's like, man, I, I need can, to I can I barely take a nap. stream over an hour and a half. You could barely stream at all. Oh, shut up. I made a video about it. Uh... If I sleep long enough, when I wake up, I can get a good stream going for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think every man can attest to that. I had a pretty good one at about 2.30 this morning. <laughs> there you go. After sleeping like 10 hours straight. <clears throat> I wish I had slept for 10 hours straight. Last night was one of those nights where I couldn't tell if I was asleep or if I was awake. Nope. I fell asleep at 5 and woke up at 2. And then went back to sleep. You, sir, had a very good night's sleep then. Goddamn right I did. <laughs> wish I had. But uh, I didn't, you know... 
It'll be okay. Yeah, I've had worse. Yeah, I've had better. Yeah, fair enough. That's that's what she said. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> Fuck you, Pat. Come make another okay. kid. <laughs> Not not tonight. So <laughs> I need that nap. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean I, I mentioned why we didn't have a podcast last week, I had a death in the family and, and all that other good stuff. Uh shout out to buying a suit. <laughs> Cause god damn it, that is like probably one of the most expensive personal items. Excluding my <laughs> car. That don't count, you don't own it yet. Yeah, technically I don't own it yet. I still got about three more years to go on that bad boy. Anyway, six hundred dollars to, to get a new goddamn suit. <clears throat> Cause not only did I need the jacket and the pants, I needed to get them altered, and I also had to get a new <laughs> shirt, a new belt, new socks, and I made this stupid mistake of letting my sister pick out my new tie. <laughs> And I ended up buying a $65 tie. On the That's bright pretty. side, it was a really nice tie, though. <laughs> it was a really nice tie. I like, did say that. You looked pretty pretty good in that suit, I will say. I, I was a very sharp-dressed man that day. You were. I mean, you were the only very sharp-dressed man. Um, Uncle Matt was... Uh... Well, I, I didn't see the rest of them. I just seen oh. you and a handful of people. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you know, at least at least my uncle Derek and my cousin, <clears throat> my cousin Logan, uh, at least they were in suits and tie, like you know, shirt and tie. Unlike my my cousin Shane, who just like showed up and they were like, "Oh, by the way, you need to be a pallbearer." Oh, fuck. Yeah, I was talking to him about that today. <laughs> Up in the office. Oh, I was about to say different different Shane. Nope, not different Shane. Yeah, different Shane. Oh, uh, you have two Shanes? Jesus. Yes, I have two Shanes. Well, GG. I, don't I have mean, one. Te- te- technically three Shanes, because uh, <laughs> my cousin's boyfriend looks like Shane from The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, dude, he really did. That was so <laughs> weird looking. Like, he looked exactly like him. I kept waiting for him to try and stab me. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was strange to see. It was very strange music. If we wouldn't have a funeral, I probably would have asked for his autograph. Oh, dear God. <laughs> He's a chill dude. He probably would have been like, wait, what? What? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. So, very sad week. Sad week for Josh, too, you know. Was it? Well, I mean, you know, it was my week to drive. Yeah, well, what else is new? You're always off on your week to drive. This is true. Although you are the one that pointed out that the <coughs> week that I go to Gatlinburg is also the week I was supposed to drive. Exactly. You always take off your week. <laughs> See, I don't think about this. You're the only one that finds this stuff out. Because it always happens to me. Like, you don't care. You get to just chill in the passenger seat. <laughs> and I'm over there driving for eight months straight. I mean, hey, it's eight making you a better much. driver. No, it's not. Defensive driving one, two, and six made me a better driver. What about three, four, and five? We don't talk about those. <laughs> that's that's one thing I could say. I, I hate driving. Oh, I've learned to love it. It's a miracle. Eh. I don't know how that ever happened to me. Maybe because you have to drive all the time. Got that piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, you know. Shit happens. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Probably get sick again for another three days. I mean, hey, you can get sick again for another three days. Ain't, ain't no skin off my nose. I'm the one that doesn't get pissed off. I don't get pissed off anymore. I just come to accept it. I mean, I, I like I learned to I like the ability to sit in the passenger seat and play Pokemon for eight hours, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Plus, like, if something like goes I wrong, to, I don't have to fix it. Like I wanted to do today, but, you know... My cousin insisted that, oh, we need to fix this and this and this and this one station, and then we're there for like three and a half hours. <laughs> GG. Yeah, that was very fun. It was a very fun day. I got sunburned. <laughs> That's not hard. You're bald. Anyway, so is yeah, this a new thing bald. we're trying to do? Is this like a... 
Not really. I, I just wanted to do a week of, like, not trying to have a well, That's not hard. We do that every week. Come on. Well, dude. I mean, at least, well, at, least, you know, at least on a normal week, we have, like, the Google Doc and stuff like that. And before we The normal actually, week as in the last three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when there was all four of us. <laughs> I would have done one last week, but I was sick as shit. So I just slept the whole time. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah, you, you know it's pretty bad when you don't come to work. Yeah. Like, when you well, when you didn't I show did up to work, work. And, and your dad told me, he's like, yeah, he was pretty sick. I was like, man, he must have really been fucking sick. And I tried to come back to work Tuesday, and our boss sent me home. He said I looked like shit. He told me to go home. Yeah. It's like, God damn it! all right. And I think, like, the day <clears> after, <throat> I ended up taking, like, a half a day. Yeah, yeah, I had to go to the doctor and get all that shit done. Because he made me go home again. God damn it. I was like, I woke up at 6 a.m. for nothing. Well, 5.30 for nothing. Well, no, no, I'm saying I, I had to take a half a day. Oh, yeah, well, you had a pretty good reason to, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Just screw out one, whatever. It's fine. I mean, you know, it's already screwed over. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it was getting better. It was. So I, w- I was telling Pat how it's very <laughs> ironic, you know, with all the stuff going on. That we decided not to do anything this week, but I wanted to throw it in there. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember a few months ago, or it might have been sometime last year. I don't know how long it's been. Um, the video game critic Jim Sterling was getting sued for fifteen million dollars by uh, a couple of brothers who were trying to call themselves game developers. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the that lawsuit has been dismissed with prejudice. Wow. Yeah, I like I've saw I've seen like three articles saying dismissed with <clears throat> prejudice. I'm like, why was it dismissed with prejudice? I'm wor- I'm kind of worried now. Go on. No, bro, uh, dismissed with <laughs> prejudice. I mean, I was wait I was waiting to see if anybody you know. I'm just curious. I didn't hear this so. Um, curious. Basically, it got thrown out, and they can never try to sue, um, sue Jim Sterling again for like these same charges because they had <clears throat> they had filed a lawsuit citing um, slander, libel, and um, assault. Because apparently, some of Jim Sterling's more wilder. <coughs> Fans were sending them bags of dog feces and shit like that. It's a prank, bro. It's a prank. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much, but you know, <laughs> you know how stupid people get. Right. <clears throat> so, thought that was a very interesting bit of news, and I know he's going to be talking about it on his weekly uh, Jim Quisition video that he does every Monday. It just means he's going to hate on games even more. Mm, I mean, he already hates uh, everything. No, there's a channel called I Hate Everything. Is Uh, that your secret channel, Nick? No, that is not my secret channel. I wish the guy has like over a million subscribers. It sounds like a channel you would have. I I wish. I really do. But it's not just one of those channels where he's like, I hate this. It's stupid. Move on. He actually goes into some pretty deep conversation about like why he doesn't care for it Hmm. you know he doesn't get like over the top ridiculously loud about it either right so I enjoy I enjoy watching I hate everything's videos I, I just can't wait for I'm just interested to see what Jim is going to say about this yeah. He's already given his uh did any of you watch the video I sent uh to the group? I think it was day before yesterday or I think it was on Monday. I seen it but I didn't see it. Uh he basically called out Nintendo and on their views of quote on on what their views of copyright infringement are. <coughs> hmm. Basically he called out Nintendo because they like to whip copyright law around like a big old dick but 
they only like <coughs> to focus on the few clauses of copyright law that actually protect them but ignore other clauses that don't or do, affects them negatively pretty much oh man don't you just love fake media yeah you know <laughs> kind of a thing let's so let's not get political. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we, we try not to get political here at Geek Gun, but we do find it very hilarious, though. I have watched so much political stuff when I got home today. It is beyond me. Jesus Christ, it's a wonder like, you're still alive. I found one video, and you know, like, one video just leads to a million videos. It's one of those, you click on it on your, on your YouTube feed or your... Facebook well, I, feed. I was on Facebook and I seen like this one video had nothing to do with politics. I was like, okay, I'll see what's up with that. And then about six videos later, I was on politics. It's like Jesus Christ, it's like the six degrees of politics on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Twenty eight videos later. Dun dun. Kind of like the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Yeah. There's only two, cooked and uncooked. Well. You ever played Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon? Negative. Um, Pat, have you? I, n- I know the game. You know the game. Have you ever played it with anybody? Not really. It's uh, it's very interesting. It shows how much you know about movies. Basically, you give an actor or an actress's name, and you <coughs> have to connect them to Kevin Bacon with six movie titles. No, oh, fuck did, that. I did you know that Google has that built in now? Yes, they do. You just type in an actor's <coughs> name and bacon number. Oh, I'm totally about to try this. <laughs> and it'll tell you, too, like... I'm trying to think of an easy one. Uh, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman was in the bucket list with Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson was in... Um, a Few Good Men. Damn it. I went Seth Rogen. Oh, dude, yeah. no. Seven. That was quick. <coughs> that was two. Oh, Jesus. What's what's the result for that? Uh, Seth Rogen and Steve Carell and 40-Year-Old Virgin, Steve Carell and Kevin Bacon and Crazy Stupid Love. Oh, yeah. See, you, you really got to be on your movie game to play it. Because... Uh, the guy I used to work with at GameStop, he was a he was a store manager for Blockbuster for like 10, 15 years. Poor guy. And, uh, yeah, I know. No, worst part was when he told me about how he tried to go work for Toys R Us. Poor guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, like, I was never able to stump him. Like, I think the closest I came... Or I think I did stump him one time with D.L. Hughley, but that was about it. Cool. Yep. Did you know Donald Trump's bacon number is also two? Um, let me guess. Uh, you know, I don't even want to guess. What was Donald it? Donald Trump and Reba, Mac- Reba McIntyre, Little Rascals, okay. and Reba McIntyre and Kevin Bacon and Tremors. God damn! I forgot. No. I forgot uh, Donald Trump was in Little Rascals. Yeah. No, Didn't no. They... Donald Trump wasn't. Yeah, he was. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I was looking at it wrong. Isn't isn't Bacon number because ba- they say Kevin Kevin Bacon could be linked to anybody because he's been in so many movies? Yes, yes. Shouldn't it be a Samuel L. Jackson thing? Because that motherfucker's in everything. He's been in a lot of movies, but I think Kevin Bacon's got him beat. Yeah, I think. I don't so. know. We can look it up. Yeah, I'm looking it up. We're we're googling how many movies Samuel L. Jackson's been in compared to Kevin Bacon. Really, just like not gonna give me a number. I just want a number. Nope, it's not gonna give you a number. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Shut up, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can go to just IMDb and just go to. Um, well, as an actor, uh, Kevin Bacon has eighty-three acting credits. Eighty-three. Yeah, so I know Samuel Jackson's has to be way more than that. That seems a little low for That Kevin does Bacon. seem a little low. Uh, 171 for Samuel L. Jackson. Sorry, J- Samuel L. Jackson's in fucking everything. Well, these are also like announced movies, filming movies, pre-production. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That just... This also counts as like Disney Infinity is also included in this list. 
Right. You I mean if you look at? I'm, I'm sure if you can narrow it down to just movies where he had a speaking role. Yeah, it's a little, little vague because they got TV series, that's video games, uh, like what else? Shorts. Mm-hmm. So. And then there's yeah. also uncredited roles too. Yeah, there's a couple of them, like Thor. Right. Yep. I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm gonna find out. That's making that my personal mission. Okay. Oh, God damn, we gave we gave Patrick a purpose. Run, everybody. We'll have the uh, Samuel L. Jackson podcast next week. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I still love the Chappelle show thing. It gets you drunk. <laughs> God, you know uh, Dave Chappelle just recently came to New Orleans. On yeah, a, he did a he comedy a, thing for the comedy thing. Comedy thing yeah, for the All Star Weekend. The comedy That's thing. What it is. <laughs> yeah, I think the was comedy it, thing. Uh, the wasn't Chris Tucker with your uh, here with them too? Yes. Who yeah, the hell still remembers who Chris Tucker is? I prefer Syrup. Other than, you know, your boy <laughs> Was from, that even Chris Tucker? Uh um, yeah, Chris Rock, actually. That's Chris Rock. I was Rock. about to say, I they're think close, like, they're close <laughs> to the same Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm on a... I'm on a different website, and Kevin Bacon has 53 acting credits. Okay. And Samuel Jackson. 12. 12 million. million. (laughs) Every movie (laughs) ever made. Sharknado 5, 6, 7, and 8. He's in that shit. We just don't know it yet. Yeah, mostly because it hasn't came out yet. (laughs) Yeah, it's fun because I'm having trouble. So fucking crazy. This is what this is going down to, huh? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, isn't that how it usually goes? I guess. Kinda, sorta, maybe. I mean, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess it could be worse. I guess. Yeah, you know, you could be in a funeral procession and get stuck in the Harvey Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> or I could not be. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that was. I it wasn't frustrating, but it was still funny as hell. Like, Let's see, this breaks it down. Sorry to interrupt. Okay, but oh, uh, <laughs> Samuel Jackson as an actor has fifty-two supporting roles, forty-three leading roles, seven cameos, uh, lead ensemble member five, and narrator three. Unclassified twelve. Okay, That's a lot of fucking roles. That's a lot of fucking roles. So that's 102, We're be a lot of butter. 7, 100, 108, 100. Wait, we, mu- we must raid Texas Roadhouse for their cinnamon butter. Deal. 120. <laughs> and if you go to bankability based on the the money making of the movie. Did you say bankability or bakeability? The bank, like money in the bank. Okay, dollar dollar bill. So uh, number one is Steven Spielberg. That does not surprise me. $29 billion. That does not surprise me. And then it's not based on the person; it's based on all the movies they were in. Number two is Samuel Jackson with twenty six billion, Jesus. million, not billion. They're both million. I'm thinking Powerball. Two hundred, uh, four hundred and three billion, million. Yeah, that one. So I guess Got it's like an average of their movies. I'm surprised that. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that uh, James Cameron's not at like the top of that list. Uh, Tom Hanks. Let's see. Has he been in that many movies, though? Who, James Cameron? Mm hmm. No, but in the movies he's directed has made a shitload of money. That's true. But Steven Spielberg's got like 8 billion freaking movies. I think he's done every movie Samuel L. Jackson's ever been in. <laughs> so. I mean, and, that, plus, and plus one more. Plus one, I was one, about yeah. to say, he did not. Uh, Steven Spielberg did not direct <laughs> Pulp Fiction, so. He may have worked on it, though. You don't know. Um, I mean, you know. Uh, well, he's got uh They got him on here, executive producer. I know he's, like, executive producer on, like, the Transformers movies and stuff like that. Da-da. He puts his name on stuff. Who's Steven Spielberg or Sam Jackson? Yes. Steven Spielberg. 
He was an executive producer on Jurassic World. That made a fuck ton of money. I mean, yeah. The second one's going to make a fuck ton of money. I like how if you go to IMDb for James Cameron, it has Avatar 2, Avatar 3, Avatar 4, and Avatar 5. You know, he's he's writing yeah. those like all at the same time. I see that. Like, yeah, Avatar 2 is in pre-production. How the fuck is he not driving himself crazy by doing that? <laughs> 2 and 3 is in pre-production and 4. And 5 is announced, apparently. Jesus Christ. Um, apparently there's a Terminator reboot coming. Yeah, because we totally needed that. Yeah. Uh, untitled is animated he, adventure or animated. Is he involved action. in the Terminator reboot? It's got him on here for James Cameron. Announced and supposed to come out in 2019. Jesus. Uh, Avatar Two is supposed to be next year. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, that's. I'm, I'm dude. This is like ridiculous uh, avatar 2 character screenplay pre-production 2018 avatar 3 in pre-production set to release 2020 then avatar 4 2022 avatar 5 2023 how many times can he tell the same fucking story man apparently five like jesus christ i mean <laughs> look i admit that the first avatar movie was pretty phenomenal as far as like the visuals go I did feel like I was sitting in grass watching it. Right. As far as the story goes, the story was bland as shit. And there was Pocahontas. It was Pocahontas slash Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee slash pretty much the history of the Native Americans. Now, if you see the untitled Terminator reboot, it says characters. So, basically, I think it's just using his characters because it doesn't say he did a screenplay or wrote it or I mean, any of that he didn't have no, anything I, to do with terminator 3 or salvation or anything like that they just used his characters <laughs> the best thing i've seen about salvation was the guy that directed it was it big g or something like that uh-huh he went to james cameron and like told him all his ideas and all his stuff and then james cameron turned to him and said well in my mind terminator ended with terminator 2 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and this is the guy that basically created it. So, so um, George Lucas has a very high number as well. Like Howard the Duck. Uh, yeah, Indiana Jones Five is apparently announced. Oh Jesus Christ! No, Star Wars Episode uh, Five. You mean no. eight? Yeah, <laughs> episode. No, nine. Right, nine. Yeah. Episode Five has been announced. Yeah. No. Episode five, <laughs> episode came, out five came out in nineteen. <laughs> I was about to say, Jesus Christ! They I seen, it. It's coming. I, I seen you. the X. I thought it was a V. Father. Shit, that'd be a twist. That'll never happen. No, that'll never happen. Hell no. <laughs> oh, phone, quit buzzing. Okay. Please excuse me for a moment. I'll be back. Dum dum dum. No more. More sad movie news was uh, Hellboy 3 has officially been canned. Didn't he do like a Twitter thing? Yeah. Um, I think it did reach the goal that he wanted it to, but I just think it's it's way past the point of being able to do it. Like, especially Ron Perlman. Because like Ron Perlman's 66 now. They just used the technology that James Cameron invented for Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> he said that uh, if Clint Eastwood wanted to do a movie, if he wanted to do a, a Dirty Harry movie and look exactly like he did in the whatever year those came out, yeah, that, that technology you know, you can know do it. You know Guillermo del Toro is not going to do that. He's too much of a an old-fashioned director he likes the props and the makeup and shit like that just throw some red paint on them yeah pretty much so that was sad to hear but I think Pacific Rim 2 got announced yeah I thought they'd been working on that yeah but like I think they finally have like a title for it and a poster and all that other good shit oh it's not official until it has a poster I don't know 
Did you see my poster I put in the little... Uh, yeah, I did see that poster. Okay. That, was, that was a very nice poster. Oh, yeah. It's going to sell out in minutes tomorrow. Oh, Evil yeah, of Bats. course. Kind of like, uh, like the NES Classic. Yes. You know, people thought it was expensive before because of the fucking scalpers. Nintendo completely halting production. I don't think they've came out and said that, though. Yeah, I think, um, didn't they say, like, all the signs were pointing to them halting production on the NES Classic? You know what they might do? They might come out with a newer model that can't be hacked. Yeah, like, they like, that's gonna happen. As long as I got my old one, and I could add more games to it. <laughs> Which I still haven't tried yet. You're afraid you're gonna brick it? Yeah. I mean, and it's, it's not I mean, easily available to go replace. Well, yeah, that, that you know, that's another thing too. I heard screaming or shouting. So apparently, uh, I thought my wife was in the room with me, sitting on the little sofa behind me, but it's my son. So when she came in and seen him, and he has no drawers on. That's lovely, Pat. That that's just lovely. It's okay. You're teaching we him didn't right. Give, if we didn't give him any when he got out the shower, you know, he's, he's he's too old to get him himself. Well, I mean, you know, but he's too old to get him himself. Yeah. I mean, you know, no, he 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 definitely should be able to go find his own underwear. I mean, wait, how old is he? He's ten. Dude, I wish I was as comfortable walking around without new drawers on at 10 years old. He's just dangling around my room. Like, that kid has, like, no issues with his body. That's fantastic. <laughs> Dude, when I was 10, I was, like, so embarrassed to be even seen in my underwear. Of course, now, you know, I don't even care, but... It was a big thing being a 10 year old that had, was very self conscious about just walking around barren ass. I'm, uh, I'm straight boxers, you know? Uh, Every once in a while I throw on a t shirt, but. I, I can't do boxers. It's just at my house, though. I have to remain comfortable at my house. Oh. I was about to say, no, I can't even do boxers. I do boxer briefs. I didn't like the way those fit. I did. Obviously, you do. Well, yes, I do. <laughs> I got I got a week and two days until I I get to play my Switch finally. Oh, lucky you! I got to touch one. Ooh. Ooh. We had a a rep who brought one into our store, mm -hmm. but he wasn't allowed to turn it on, and he didn't have any games anyway. Yeah, I can imagine. So, hey, you, you know, your rep probably had more shit than mine did. You know, my my rep used to just come in and be like, look at the Wii and be like, oh, okay. And that was it. <laughs> just, like, checked it to make sure we had the proper um, marketing around it. And then was like, all right, and just signed the book. <laughs> shit, fucking... Microsoft rep would come by. He would be like, "Hey, you know, I got y'all lanyards. I got y'all pens. I got y'all this and that. Here's some codes for a beta." Our fucking our fucking Microsoft rep was fucking balling. He was a he was a really cool guy. And the Sony rep, well, I hardly ever saw them. I can't even honestly remember if it was a guy or a woman. And then Ray pushed Luke off the cliff at the end. Oh, shut up. <laughs> no. Uh I'd say in all my years. Well, no, I started time, recently. Yeah. I started recently seeing the Sony rep, <clears throat> but before that, yeah, it was like years would go by. Oh, so what are we on? What are we talking about? Anything good? Rogue Rogue One comes out on DVD on the fourth of April. All right, so nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie. You saw that movie what three times in theaters? Twice. Just thank twice. you. Just twice. Just twice. Thank you. I don't need to see it a third time. I know what happened. Did anybody see Doctor Strange? I did see Doctor Strange. How is it? I liked uh -huh. it. I was very disappointed with Dormammu. How'd you call my mom? 
<laughs> what? My mother was a saint. Well, I don't want to go that far. <laughs> that comes out, I think, Tuesday, so I may buy that. Who knows? <clears throat> no. uh, I know who ain't buying that. This guy. I'd have to... The movie was good. It didn't blow me away. But that's going to end up on Netflix, huh? It's probably going to end up on Netflix. Yeah, because I think they got that deal that everything Disney puts out goes to Netflix first. Deal. I don't know. Disney's got a good bit of stuff on uh, Hulu as well. I think Hulu gets like the older classics. Yeah, they do. And because uh, they got Civil Wars on uh, Netflix, hmm. so I might just wait. It'll probably be on Netflix in a few weeks. I will say this though: shout out to Hulu for having all episodes of the Golden Girls with no ads. Shout out to Hulu <laughs> for having Rick and Morty. Yeah, that too. But Golden Girls literally has no ads. But it's Golden Girls. Yeah, it's Golden Girls. Golden Girls is awesome. You keep watching it. They're going to put ads on it. Like, Wait, somebody's watching this? Throw some ads on it. No, I think I think they like signed some kind of special exclusivity deal or some crap like that. Because it's like all over their marketing too. Like any kind of ad you see for them, it's like Hulu or uh, Golden Girls now streaming on Hulu. Ad free. <laughs> That's probably how they get away with all that marketing. They're probably just like, well, you know what? You know, it's like, hey, you know what? Drugs. Well, that. <sighs> anyway. That was hot. I bet it is. So, I mean, that Blanche, man. <laughs> that girl is a hoe. Faux <laughs> show. Think? There's typing. Me. Mm. I, like boy, riggedy, riggedy I threw my friend Justin off when I told him, like, hey, Rick and Morty season three. Coming the in what? July. <laughs> yeah, buddy. He was like, wait, what? I'm like, yeah. He got excited. I got excited. I never stopped. My, <sighs> my, my girlfriend could be less excited. No, she'll be okay. She watched it yet? Um, no. I, well, then she can't be... I'm not, I'm not going to make her watch it. I, I told, did. I, I told her I think she would like it, but I don't want to push her to watch <clears> something because then I know she really won't like it, and I'll feel like an ass because I made her watch something that she wasn't ready to watch. No, she wasn't ready. Yeah, pretty much. Which is why she still hasn't watched um, Breaking Bad. Yeah, she's missing out. It's a good show. I mean, I, I tell her she's missing out, and but she she does. She's just like, well, fuck it, you know. I I still don't want to watch it. I like on Netflix that uh, the first episode of Breaking Bad, yes. in the very beginning, you see a chick with big titties. Her titties yeah. are a hundred percent exposed, yep. and that is the only nudity in the entire show. Really? They they gear you up for it, like, man, this is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be big titties like this every week. Nope, only pair. It's like Game of Thrones style. They show you tits once and then it's all dicks. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I don't South Park made a whole series of episodes making fun of that. Did they really? Yeah, dude, they did. Um, I think I should, it was... Uh, I should watch that. It wasn't from last year. It might be from like two years ago or three years ago. Um, I think it was about three years ago because it was around the time the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One were coming out. And uh, they were, like, making, like, this whole big deal about they are basically doing role-playing and they were trying to decide what consoles they should all get and they get into a big war about between Xbox One and PS4. And, like, Ooh. everybody, like, you know, there's this looming feeling in the air because it's, like, days before Black Friday and all that shit. And there's, like, literally a point where Butters goes and sees George R.R. R. Martin. <laughs> and it it's funny as hell because, like, the whole time he's like, I try to watch it. All I'm seeing is dicks. All I'm seeing is wieners and balls. <laughs> hmm. Like, there's even a part where, I, I, the where the he gets a choir to sing the theme for the show Game of Thrones, except it's them going, Wiener, 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 Wiener. 
It is fucking hilarious. All this uh, Wiener talk reminds me of when I seen Watchmen. No. Uh, when I seen Watchmen. No, oh, God. I'm we're sorry. talking about how big the blue guy's dick was. I'm sorry. <laughs> and my manager's like, it wasn't even that big. I was like, dude, I seen it in the fucking IMAX. <laughs> that, that was, that was a pretty big blue wiener. <laughs> Don't know if you're too wide, sir. <laughs> that was like a, a six foot dick just swinging around the entire movie. <laughs> Watchmen was one of those movies that like I knew there was going to be nudity going into it. And I had heard about the blue penis. I just did not expect there to be that much blue penis. Right, it's just swinging. <laughs> it's like, like blue waffle. Or? Um, actually, no. I prefer blue penis over blue waffle. I think everybody would. Dear God, we go from talking about movies to f- fucking dicks. No, that's that's not hard to actually do. Don't don't be Giggity. surprised. But hey, Rorschach, that dude was a fucking beast. Yeah. I, I just remember walking out of the movie theater and I had gone to the movie theater with my mom and my sister. My mom and my sister were going to see another movie and I was like, I don't want to go see Wait, your younger it. sister or? Uh, I can't remember. It was one of them. It might have been both. But their movie literally finished an hour and a half before Watchmen did. <laughs> so they were sitting at like the little cafe thing for like an hour and a half waiting for me. And when, you know... The movie finally ended. They're like, holy shit, what the hell? I was like, hell, was the movie good? I was like, no. <laughs> I mean, I, Sucked. I mean, I've grown to kind of appreciate the movie for what it is now that like I understand more of the themes behind it. Because I actually mm. read a little bit of the, the comic it was based on. But just watching it for the first time, having no idea about the comic and all that, and all I'm seeing is the shiny blue guy that's whipping his dick around everywhere. It kind of made it hard for me to concentrate. You just couldn't get that dick out of your I mind. I just could not get that dick out of my mind. It was a glorious yeah. dick. I hate when I can't get dick out of my head. The only thing that stuck with me besides the, the blue dick was uh, Bob Dylan's The Times Are A-Changing. Because they use it during the, the opening credits, and it's a very it was very fitting. It was just yeah. a good song. The Times definitely are a-changing, and then dick. And then dicks, 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 and dicks. I know the the last time <coughs> me and my wife went to the movies and we went to different movies, uh, we met another couple there and they took um, that couple's daughter to see Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Oh, dear God, I'm so sorry. And hey, then me and, a, no, no, me and the husband went and seen Batman Begins. <laughs> so oh, my God. Like, <laughs> Did y'all hold like, hands? They're like, how was y'all movie? And they were like, eh, it was okay. And it was like, how was Batman? Oh, it was fucking awesome. <laughs> I didn't care too much for Batman Begins. You don't like anything. <laughs> he, he, I told you, that's his secret YouTube channel. He can say no all he wants. He hates everything. It, it isn't. Because it's a fucking... I think he's either from New Zealand or he's British. I, I don't know. I can't tell. He's got a weird accent. It's racist. The only thing I liked about Batman Begins was Liam Neeson was in it. And he was playing Ray Shao Ghoul. That was awesome. We are built on a, a, a continent of immigrants, Nick. That came out of nowhere. You can't be you can't hate him because he's from a different continent. That's racist now. I'm so confused now. You said you didn't like the movie because he was like New Zealand or whatever. No, the guy who runs the channel I Hate Everything is either from New Zealand or from the UK. Uh, you gotta clarify whatever. with us. We're not. We don't pay much attention. I, I thought I was being. I thought I was being clear. Obviously, I'm not. Yeah, no. I, th- I thought you were talking about Batman still. No, I was not talking about Batman. I'm also drunk. Fuck it. I mean, I wish I was drunk. Yeah, well, I have nothing to live for, Nick. Oh, well, you know, we we all can't we all can't be as lucky as you, Josh. I did secure me a ticket. I did secure a ticket to E3. Yes, huzzah! E3. Okay, so you're actually going to E3. I'm actually going to E3. I didn't know if you were just like fucking with us and telling us that, or if I it was like lie. an actual thing. Like, yeah, my girlfriend is actually jealous of you that you're going to E3. It's, I'm uh, sort of jealous, but I'm sort of glad it's not me. Yeah, same. I'm, I'm old. So it's like, this could be my only shot. 
<sighs> a little bucket list. Um, did you uh, get the 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 number and all that that I sent to the group for the place to get the Geek Gumbo shirt made? Yes. Did you? I will look into that. <laughs> Tiny Buffalo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I keep okay. looking up flights, and it seems like every time I look it up, it's different prices. Well, yeah. It is. Prices change by the day. Those bastards. I want the cheap ones. <laughs> well, then fly southwest. I know, but their prices... No, he's going northwest, Nick. I'm trying to be uh, super cheap. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey. Uh, what but yeah, what I did is uh, my grandma stays in Los Angeles, so I called her the day before they went on sale and uh, said, hey, if I get tickets to this show, could I come stay with you <laughs> for the week? She said, sure. So That's then, the way to do it, though. Man. The next day yeah, I booked man. it. I think the only person I would know in Los Angeles would be uh, my girlfriend's cousin. The the philosophy professor. Oh, that guy. Yeah. And how does that make you feel? I don't know. The guy, <laughs> the psychiatrist. I mean, I mean he kind of looks like... Uh... Dr. Phil? Please say Dr. Phil. No, he doesn't look like Dr. <laughs> Phil. Um, he, uh, no, not Ian McKellen. Um, Jeff Goldblum. That's cool. always exciting. I, I just keep waiting for him to go, Life uh, 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 finds a way. <laughs> And then oh, no. just, I keep waiting for him to pull fucking Jurassic Park lines and be like, no, I am not a psychologist, psychology professor. I'm a chaotician. Stop hitting the fucking ball, you communist. What are you playing? I am just playing a fucking bot match in Rocket League. Sounds exciting. Yeah. Sounds riveting. So, uh... No, it's reveting. Reveting? Yeah, because of the cars, revving. Ah, reveting. Very slick there, buddy. Very slick. My jokes got better. <laughs> the jokes are getting better. Oh, dear God, we need to kill it before it breeds. That's what he does when he's not uh, on the podcast. He's at joke classes. I literally just sit down and write jokes. And I'm like, okay, this might be funny next week. <laughs> if Patrick ever says this, <laughs> I'm going to say this. <laughs> just completely yeah. randomly guessing what you're going to say. I right. try him out on Nick during the week, and then it, based on his responses, how I go with those. So, some of them are very bad. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, he doesn't see it, but I secretly take out, like, a piece of paper and just, like, scratch it off the list. <laughs> you just pull okay. it off your ass, don't you? Yeah, it's a good one. You just yeah. underline it. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, that's a keeper. <laughs> Put, like, a big black box around it. And... <laughs> big stars. Hey, look what I did. Stars. I did something good. Yeah, and I'll get the other 700 that are horrible. <laughs> oh, and then, dude. you know, I just reuse some of them. Hey, Nick, you sure this wasn't funny? No? Okay. A lot of them aren't funny. A lot of them are they're, hilarious. They're, they're, they're he just, just doesn't get it. They're just bad. Just, just very bad. Oh, My jokes are funny. It's well, okay. They'll I, get better. I do think it should be about time that we wrap this up. Air penis. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> that was a quick whip out of the hairy penises. Was it blue? Um, it no. no. No one can match Dr. Manhattan's cock. Uh, I max penises. <laughs> I max penises. I, that's, that's sentences I've never thought I'd hear in my life. No one can do match Dr. Manhattan's cock. <laughs> not on <an> IMAX. <laughs> yeah, not on IMAX at least. I'm choking on Dr. Manhattan's big cock. <laughs> wow, can we isolate that please? I want that to be my ringtone. Oh, dear God. I, I mean, I, prob I probably could. Just any time you text me, I just want to hear I'm choking on Dr. Manhattan's cock. <laughs> you gotta have the, the, the choking first. It's bad enough that I have the freaking Yu-Gi-Oh shit as your ringtone, and you called me the other day, and my ringtone was on. Oh, my God. <laughs> <clears throat> that was hilarious. All I hear is, it's time. Do -do 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 -do. I'm like, is Nick calling me? Yeah, Nick was calling you. Because, like, you're the only person I have that for. Yeah, and when I text you, all you hear is, <laughs> Stupid monkey. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, I'm not that hairy. Eh. <laughs> I know, you're bald. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, I could scratch that joke off the list now. Yeah. <laughs> Never thought I'd get to use that one. Jesus Christ. 
Everything fell into place exactly as I had planned. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Anyway, maybe we should do these more often. These are pretty good. They are pretty fun. I don't have to try to read nothing, and Jeff definitely doesn't have to try to read nothing when he comes back. Oh no, when he decides to come back, we're going to be like uber, uber structured. Like, you yes. read this and only this. You say anything else, you're off. Everything <laughs> everything you say on the podcast will be 100% scripted. If you go off a script, we will cut your nuts off. There you go. We will cut one testicle every word he messes up. Wow. I didn't know he had that many testicles. Well. He better have. We'll replace them. Cut them off and sew them back on just to cut them off again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Human centipede 3. That is it for episode 21 of Geek Gumbo. This was the only scripted line of the entire show. Was it, though? True. The first line was scripted. That's true. Well, it's not scripted. I just say it. And scripted, I guess, means well, I had to write it down, but, you know, I didn't. Well, you say the same thing every week, so kind of scripted, kind of impromptu. Yeah. I don't know. It's true. Impromptu pitch. What are y'all doing on y'all? What are y'all looking at before you go? <laughs> what are you looking at on your computer right now? Rocket League. I'm looking at Skype. <laughs> I'm looking at screenshots of ukulele. What? What? Okay, ukulele. Yeah. I was thinking ukuleles. I'm like, what? Why? A hookalakaliki. Come on, you want to leave me? Hopefully, it doesn't come to Nintendo Switch four years after it comes to every other system. It will. That's about about the time everybody's able to buy one. So. Yeah. Those bastards. Getting shots fired. And that has been it for this episode of Geek Gumbo. I'm your host, Patrick. Y'all have a nice night. Nick, any final words? Bang, bang. Josh? Blue hairy penis. Blue hairy penises.